Hey you guys, Rihanna with Brood Home Farms here to give you an RV update. I've been in here a couple of days a week just trying to rip it apart and this thing's put together so solidly it's not even fair. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys what I'm talking about because I wasn't expecting this from the videos I've seen on redoing RVs, but here we are. Hang on. Okay, so... This is how the cabinets are put in. <laughs> there's screws and then there's all of these staples. They're everywhere. Everything has them. Um, it's a little intense, but I've gotten a lot done. I'm going to come around to the front door so you guys can see this whole cabinet section is gone. The cabinet over there is gone. Um, I started taking down all of the valances. They're all gone. I have started attempting to take this down. That's not a just take it down with your fingernails job. It's just not. I tried. I did. I did. Um, when we squeeze in through back here, you can see these cabinet faces have been taken down. The lights have been taken down. All of the electrical is still hanging. I got frustrated and just started breaking things. As you can see right up there, it was fun. It was stress relieving. I did the same over here. So all of the cabinet faces are gone. I did find a mouse nest in here that I partially removed. I got to get the vacuum to get re the rest of it out. It's old. It's not from when it was here. Um, I got sinks out today. I'm really proud of that. I don't do plumbing. I've never done plumbing. RV plumbing though. This is so simple. It's literally just this. It's ridiculous. Nothing had any of the tape on it that you would normally see. No normal plumb fittings. Nothing. It was just these little what look like they're just meant to be for regular hoses and these are hoses. So, you know, common sense hits you in the middle of it all. But I have learned a lot about taking these things apart. So I can tell you that these cabinets are a real pain in the ass to take apart. I'm not looking forward to ripping all of this out because everything is tied into itself. Everything. Nothing about this job is going to be simple. When I'm talking about these cabinets, these are not just screwed together. They're stapled to each other and then they're stapled to the walls. So it's... It's awful. It's infuriating. I'm bleeding again. That's cool. Um, but it's just, it's not a fun thing to have to take apart. So I'm, I'm trying to take my time so I don't get irritated with it because I'm really enjoying doing all of this. I'm going to turn you guys around again and show you the shower because it's a totally different game now. Hang on. Okay. So all of the awful gold is gone. And Ernie decided he really wants to tile this. I don't do tile work, so we're going to have him do all of the tile in here. And I think we're going to bamboo out the floor because that just sounds fun. I've already picked out new knobs and a whole new thing and a whole new shower head. We're going to have a rain shower in here. It's going to be awesome. So I've been working a lot. I've been doing a lot. I've had three trips to the transfer station for stuff like this um stuff like this i'm saving the majority of my cabinet fronts and i'm doing that because the cabinet fronts i may need them for other stuff because i don't want things to not match because i'm weird like that so i'm saving the cabinet fronts right now i have the pillows i'm getting ready to bag everything up but i've started bagging those up just in case i i need them for something I don't think I'm going to because the idea grosses me out. I would much rather buy a nice mattress and just start cutting it up to make stuff. But as you guys can see, this whole place has changed. It's so much more open. It's so much more bright. And I'm super jazzed about it. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for checking out the update. I'm going to keep updating you guys as things go. You'll probably get a video or two out of me a week. And it's going to be a mix between the RV and clearing of the site because the clearing of the site is even more work than the RV. So I'm really excited about all of it. But please stay tuned. If you like stuff like this, if, if you enjoy this for whatever reason, if you are just that strange and I embrace it because I am too, please like and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.